Here's a fun fact for you. Almost all the oil we pump and turn into gas today comes from algae and plankton, or what most of us call pond scum. It was pressure cooked under the surface of the earth for hundreds of millions of years until it turned into the crude we're using today. Our next generation of fuel may also come from algae, but we won't have to wait eons for it. That's because some enterprising scientists are growing the stuff and turning it into biodiesel. A Fox report now from Orlando Salinas. Off a dirt road in tiny Fellsmere, Florida, scientists from Petroalgae are growing what they believe could be the really green fuel of the future. This is about ready to harvest. And the algae is very small. Obviously, it's uh, microalgae. But that green is uh, what has the oil in it. The green is beautiful. Green is gold. Special strains of supercharged pond scum are growing fast and fat. Algae, engineered to overproduce oil molecules that will ultimately be refined into biodiesel. Nearly 100,000 gallons brewing in several outdoor cauldrons. Growing algae requires three things, sunlight, water, and environmentally unfriendly carbon dioxide. A greenhouse gas put out by power plants, refineries, anything with a smokestack. Energy experts say chemically altered algae consumes twice its weight in CO2 waste. Algae will use uh, CO2 in order to grow, uh, especially to grow rapidly, and so you can use algae to help remediate uh, uh, CO2 that's currently being uh, sent into the atmosphere. 24 hours a day, paddle wheels mix the slimy water. The darker green color means the algae cells are dividing fast every few hours. So within two to three days, it's harvest time. Uh, this algae farm right now consists of about uh, 20 acres or so. There are plans, though, to increase this to some two to 300 acres. Come over here. This over here, this is algae paste. It looks and feels a lot like a soft uh, and oily silly putty, and it smells really bad. Now, this is about to go through an extraction process that will eventually create two things. Number one, oil for biodiesel fuel. And number two, meal for livestock. Scientists say producing algae-based oil on a massive and economical scale is still years away, but within sight. We're in a position to be ready when that time comes to be able to have oil produced from the algae, extracted from the algae, and ready to go into that pipeline. A pipeline that experts say will compete with crude. Orlando Salinas, Fox News. Well, you probably know.